How to Make a Mullet Scrub Hat. Hi guys, Dr. Lily here with my pocket pediatrician and today we're going to learn to make this style of hat which I kind of nicknamed the mullet because it's sort of business in the front like a regular scrub hat but a little bit of party in the back where there's room for your hair. So that's just sort of what I thought of it as and I've been calling it that. So let's get started on this quick and easy tutorial. The mullet step one, cut out both your shapes. So the two shapes here are kind of hard to describe. 10 inch by 14 inch rectangle and on one side you're going to curve two of your edges. Your other shape is 21 inches long and eight and a half inches wide but after about 10 inches of that shape you're going to see a curve come down uh, and the bottom side of that is going to be about five inches wide. So the best thing to do is probably get yourself some poster paper and cut a paper template first or you could just use your fabric and cut it to that size. This is what your shapes both look like once they're actually cut. And so you can see that top band is going to become the band that goes around your hat. And then that sort of odd uh, rounded rectangle shape is going to be the top of your hat that would sit on top of your head. This is 1.4 yards and that's going to give me four hats because when I look at that circle shape that's giving me four and then I've got the four bands there. So when I do that it actually comes out to about 0 0.35 yards per hat. So it doesn't actually use a lot of material, which is kind of nice, as long as you cut it efficiently like this. Mullet step two, trim the corners of your straps. So preparing this band is a little bit difficult to visualize. So what I did was I put a finished band on the bottom and I'm just gonna use the top and show you how I'm gonna get it there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of fold over that five inch part of the band. So it's now about two and a half inches and I'm just gonna trim the edges so that it's a little bit round pointing towards the bottom because these are gonna be the back of my ties and I want it to kind of have a tapered edge. So you can see here, I'm just kind of trimming it down and rounding out that edge so that it's a little more contoured. Mullet step three, I'm gonna sew the right sides together on my straps and then I'm gonna turn them back right side out. First thing I have to do is fold it so the right side or the pattern side is together on both sides and then I'm just gonna take it on my machine and run a straight stitch right along that edge of where the fabric is overlapping itself. Quick and easy straight stitch. And then I'm gonna repeat it on the opposite side. And you can see how it's starting to look like the finished band already. Mullet step four, double roll the slanted edges on the top of your band and stitch them down in a straight stitch. So all I'm gonna do is take those two unfinished edges, just double roll each of them, and just do a really quick and easy straight stitch going straight up there. Step five, fold under your long headband and stitch it to itself. So this long edge that I created when I folded my right sides together, I just need to finish that off. So I'm just gonna roll under the side of it. It only needs to go under once because it's sewing right onto itself. And then I just run a quick straight stitch down the whole length of the band of my hat. Step six, now it's time for me to start doing the prep work that I need to do for the top part of my hat. So I'm gonna take the top circle of the hat and I'm gonna add about four inches of elastic to that entire flat edge that runs along the back side of my hat. A small piece of elastic, just gonna cut it to about four inches. It's actually easier if you cut it after you sew it so that you have a little bit that you can grab onto stretch while you're sewing, but you can do it either way. If you remember, my hat is about 10 inches wide, so this is just gonna kinda of gather that up. And I'm using a zigzag stitch because I'm sewing elastic and I'm stretching the whole time I'm sewing. Now I'm just gonna roll that edge under and run it over one more time so that I don't have the elastic sticking out at the end. And now I have a nice finished edge for that hat. Mullet step seven, I'm gonna add three pleats to the top of my hat. This is what allows that kind of party in the back. So eventually the shorter side of that band is going to wrap around the entire length of the unfinished circle of the hat and you can tell by looking at it it's way too short so what I'm going to do is put three pleats in the hat that run across horizontally so you see there's the first pleat now I'm adding my second pleat and there's the third one so I'm taking that hat and making it into more of a circular shape so instead of being 14 inches across it's now somewhere between seven and a half and eight inches across there so that means that there's enough room now so with those pleats now it's small enough that I can attach the entire unfinished edge of my headband all the way around the circumference of the unfinished part of the hat so for step eight with the right sides together I'm just going to sew the band to the rounded edge of the top of the hat 
If you have pins in your pleat, make sure you don't hit those with your machine. So I try to usually pull them out right as I go. But I'm just going to run a straight stitch all the way around that edge of the hat, leaving the edge that has the elastic on it untouched. I really love this hat. I love how it fits. And one of the things I like about this pattern is the big, thick, wide band that it has. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels on my head. It feels very secure. And I think part of that security is in how thick these straps are in the back. It's not like those skinny little ties that are on the scrub hat. These bands really kind of secure the hat to your head in a nice way that's very comfortable. So thanks for watching. And this series is actually one of four videos in a four part tutorial on four different styles of medical scrub hats that you can make. So make sure you check out those other videos and figure out which one's your favorite. And I also have another video that compares and contrasts the four different types so that you can decide which one you want to make, whether you're making it for yourself or you're making it for healthcare workers in general. I'm also doing a contest on that video this month. So if you go over to that video and look at the four styles, decide which one you like the best and vote for it in the comments, then on May 15th, I'm going to pick a commenter at random and I will actually send them all four styles of hats for free. I'll just ship them right to you so that you can actually have them in hand and decide which one you like the best. So make sure you check out the other videos, subscribe so you get notified of any new updates. And this is Dr. Lily with My Pocket Pediatrician. Thanks for stopping by. When the doctor says my child has a condition, I'll learn more at My Pocket Pediatrician.